This portion of this video is sponsored by Javi. Javi is an instant concentrated coffee company and yes they sponsored me on last fall. So once again I am bringing Javi coffee back to you. Javi coffee can be taken anywhere with you and it's always available for on the go. So this morning I decided to use my mocha java coffee and I am making an eggnog mocha iced coffee. Javi is just so wonderful and this year guys the top change. It's now a flip top and it's so convenient. Pop it in your pocketbook, keep it in your office. If you're a school teacher, absolutely perfect. So guys if you have not heard from Javi before you know what to do. Just check down in my description below and also I give you a discount code. You know if your girl gonna sponsor something and send it to you, I am gonna give you a discount code. So check on the bottom and thank you Javi for sponsoring me for this fall once again. Well, good morning guys welcome back to Vandessa J I am Vandessa and if you are new here to my home hello and welcome and if you're returning hello welcome my beautiful butterflies so guys this video is sponsored by Javi so you saw in the beginning I did a little morning cleaning because you know when you wake up and nobody else have done it it's either you go ahead and get it done or you don't get done. So, um, went ahead and did some cleaning and made me some Javi. Fantastic. And I always make my own whipped cream. So, this is a mocha, egg, well, egg na mocha um, iced coffee. So, I'll put it right here. Yeah, so that is what I'm drinking. So guys, let me update y'all with something. I know it's been some days since I upload for the fall decorations. So let me tell you, I recorded the whole entire thing. 
went to put my SD card in there to put it over to my MacBook. Don't know what happened. Something crashed, lost all my footage except the intro. Yeah. So what I'm going to do in this video, guys, I'm going to go ahead and walk y'all through and show you what the entryway and the guest bathroom looks like. And um, I even got new flowers. And I'm going to show y'all, since y'all didn't see me do the flowers, I'm going to show you what you need to do with these particular flowers so it does not damage your things in your house. So let me go ahead and show you guys our entryway for the fall and our guest bathroom. Okay guys, so this is our entryway. So this is now what the plant looked like. I put blue inside, add some pumpkins, a blue pumpkin add inside. So that is what it looked like. In the previous, I talked about this um, rug, but unfortunately y'all didn't get it. So with this rug, I did get it from Ross Department Store. Guys, I was cleaning this rug with my rug cleaner. I did put it in the washing machine came out perfect it has a shadow to it so it is clean but the rug does have a shadow to it so that is what when you walk in and i did a diy with this picture so it says home and i can turn around and change the background to it by just adding another board to this and that is what i'm going to do so that is what that looks like right now and of course we have our dog brooklyn she's right there on guard and this is what this looks like so kept my mirror add plants i'm still on the fence about this part um for right now it's still there and i have my candle holders from ross department store I see this one has moved um, and I just put some blue balls up here, have a candle, put a blue tassel, and it's sitting on a riser. Kept all of my Bible scripture and Bible all in one. So I always keep a Bible in the house, always. All different rooms, every room in this house has a Bible. So in my peaceful hands, I have a blue, um, a blue pumpkin and my cross. And I put a blue throw in there and it's sitting on the off-white box. So, guys, this is what the entryway came out. And I do love it. I really do love the entryway. It's just like the blue is not so harsh. And I love that. So, that is what the entryway looks like. So, now this is the guest bathroom. And I do like it. Um, of course, you know, I told you I hung this mirror. I took the over mirror down a, um, about a month ago and add the gold in. So I do love the gold. So I changed my black and white and put blue. And it says welcome. So in the side, they have their soap. It said hello pumpkin on it. And I do love these Kleenex, guys. I can tell somebody already been in it. So um, that's bringing some of the gold touch. And I do have another pumpkin right here. Um, now on this side, I just put some of these blue in there with the white. And put some blue balls in this little thing. I took the green out. I did not change this, the pictures. I did not change them, so that is what the toilet area is looking like. And um, I add some blue rugs. And down here, that is the towel basket. So um, it has some blue and white in there. So that is what that angle looks like. So this is how, when you first walk in, this is what you will see. So now on this side, I just have this little table. And I did not change this box out. I have another box, but um, my son keep wipes in here. So I always just keep that box there. And I do have a candle and that smells so good. It's called Ice Cream Sparkles. It smells so good. And I just have blue here to pull out some more of the blue. 
and I add some blue into the flower arrangement. So that is what that looks like. It's very sleek, small, not causing any issues. You see the space in between. So I do like the bathroom um, coming up. I do have something that I'm put really big on this wall. That's going to lead me not to know what to do with this wall. But um, anyway, this is the guest bathroom. So at the beginning, at the end of this, you will see where some more footage of the bathroom and the entryway. So yes, guys, so entryway is done. Guest bathroom is done. Um, the only thing I didn't do, like when you first walk in this, um, out from our car garage, I have a shelf there. I did not change anything on that shelf because I know coming up for Christmas, I will be changing that shelf. I might be taking that shelf and putting it inside the bathroom then. Don't know 100%. Um, what else has changed? Nothing really else has changed. Um, breakfast room. Oh, let me show you these flowers. So these, they smell absolutely so, so, so good. So let me tell you what you need to do for your furniture and stuff not to get damaged. You see these little things here? Cut these bad boys out. When I put them out the other day, these were still closed. So now they're open. Now you see I still have some more that still has to open. And I got these on clearance, this whole entire bunch I put together for $8 because they were on clearance. So I need to go inside and cut all of these off. So while I'm talking to you all, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna use a bowl. I go inside these and cut these off because that pollen will mess up your stuff so bad. So I just go in and cut that up. It does not affect the plant at all by you removing these. And I see I didn't catch it. I have some on this table. But the last time I purchased these guys, I had them in the kitchen. And I had a hard time trying to get that yellow stuff off the granite. So, try not to break my plant, but I need to get these out of here. So I'm gonna show you up close. That is what it looks like. And it can be damaging. So I just go inside of it. Once they open, I go inside and just remove it myself. Make it easy. And as I said, it will not do any damage to the plant itself by doing this. Close. This is what it looks like. So you can see where I did cut it inside. So these little things, guys, are something. So I have that one will soon be opening. And as I was looking at it, I saw this one. So I got to remember to catch this one. It's not quite open yet. And also that one. So um, these are the ones that I cut previously. You see um, the flower is doing very good without it so i still have a lot of them that still has to open up so guys now um it's getting on time to drop ladybug off to school um of course you know she's in culinary school and this child for the last two days brought in some bread um day before yesterday it was some um, cinnamon 
some type of cinnamon bread. Oh my G. That bread was so good. And yesterday she brought a whole bunch of breads. Some of them had raisins in it. It was so good. So she brings home something almost every day. So these are some of the homemade breads that she made. Um, when I came down here this morning, I was just like, my lips is all ready for some of that raisin bread. I came in here, I was like, dang, it was gone. So I did get a chance to get more of that raisin bread. It's so good, so good. So um, what I do, um, if I do remember, if you don't see it, I forgot. If I remember, I will insert right here some of her pictures of her stuff that she's been in since she's been in school. Um, she started college 18 days after she graduated from high school, doing absolutely fantastic in college. And I explained to my kids, um, you will enjoy college more than you did high school she is noticing this girl is rocking it and she has also developed two little friends they are just the sweetest girls ever um they always look out for amber amber is the second to the youngest in the class they those two girls always watch out for amber so um last night i did them a little thank you for them. So I gave them a salad with all the fixes in it. So um, that picture of the salad is right here. So they was like, they sent a message back. It was like, this is good <laughs> with a T. I was like, these girls are a mess. So um, I like to, when it comes down to my kids, if you do something very nice, especially to my kids, I am one, I do acknowledge that. Um, when Tay got his car, the sales guy, Mr. Jamal, he subscribed to me also. Um, he was so nice and friendly ever since I met him. I went and got a gift card, went back and presented to him, said, hey, this is for your lunch. So um, I got another one I got to go do. Probably tomorrow I got to go give a gift card to someone for thanking them. So, um, guys, the only place now that I have left that I need to get something done with, because I'm already Christmas shopping. Yes, guys, I'm already Christmas shopping for the simple reason, the color that I have chose for this year is not sold in stores. I have to purchase it offline. So, um, the end of next month, I will be going ahead on and putting up the Christmas tree. I'm not going to do any decorating to it or anything, um, but I will be putting up the Christmas tree. I got to find the ribbon because I wasn't sure what theme. I know what is around about but as far as the theme. I'm not sure yet because of course, all the blue in that house for the falls in memory of my grandmother. And here's the picture of my grandma. Everybody always say, you know, your poise, your attitude, but well, not all my attitude, the sweet side of me. It's a Vanessa and a Vanessa. You don't want Vanessa. Um, everybody say, you know, oh my gosh, you look just like your grandmother. And my grandma was a Cherokee Indian, but I have some of that red tone to my skin, undertone. But um, my cousin reached out for me from up north and she said, hey, I got some pictures for you. When I got those pictures, y'all, I stood, I opened up the envelope and I sat there and cried. I miss my grandma and my mom so, so much. My grandma was a ride or die chick. She did not pass judgment on you until she really found something out about you um, that was negative. And she still analyzed that as far as herself to see um, her viewpoint of it. That's how my grandmama was. But she was out to help anybody that she possibly could. Beautiful person. 
So what I'm gonna do um, on TikTok, and if you haven't, you don't know I'm on TikTok, I'm on TikTok. It'll come up on the stream somewhere. Um, also, I'm on Instagram. But what I'm gonna do, the picture that I have of my grandma, my grandma must be was in her late 40s, somewhere in her 50s. So y'all was seeing this picture, well, y'all just saw the picture how i like to dress up is exactly how my grandmama and it's the craziest thing exactly how my grandmama hold a pocketbook oh that's how i hold my pocketbook <laughs> it's so crazy so um i am gonna do a remix of that picture and i'm gonna show you guys probably step by step how i do it i might do that and but it would be on TikTok. Um, any hoozy, um, we just have the staircase to do just to put a few little things up there. Um, everything's in place, like because I already kind of like move things, but I need to add a little bit of blue up there, so I will be doing that. Add some blue up in the staircase, so I will definitely take you along as we do the blue in the staircase. And then the next place, I know, I know, I know. You said, oh, you said the next place would be the patio. Mm-hmm, I did. But I remember I need to just add a little bit of blue up there. So um, I will be doing that little bit of blue and then we will be doing that patio because guys, I don't know what it is. My husband put some fertilizer down in this grass about two years ago. You can mow the grass today and you're gonna need it more two days later. So I'm sitting here looking and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the grass need to be cut. <laughs> so guys, I will click back in with y'all a little bit later. Okay, y'all, so I have dropped baby girl off to school. So I looked through my things. I have used all of my blue. So I am gonna run to Joann's because Joann's, um, I can get so many different discounts at Joann's. So I'm gonna run to Joann's to see um, the runner, if they have the blue runner um, florals, um, like I put up in the kitchen up on top of the cabinet. And if I want to get another blue um I don't know I'm gonna see what else sorry y'all that truck is so loud um I'm gonna see I don't know if I want to put more blue um what the things called pumpkins out or I want to go by Target over here to see if they have some more of the little pumpkins. And if they have some more of the little pumpkins, I just get um, some of those and get a bowl, uh, a ceramic type bowl and put those on it just to put in the staircase. So we are off to Joanne's.
Okay, guys, I have officially made it back home. So I want to go ahead and share with you guys um, what I picked up and what I went for, the blue flowers, guys. So I did go into Joann's. This line had well over about 12 people in there and it was only one cashier. I put those two little flowers right on back and walked out. Yes, your girl did. So I got to figure out what I'm gonna do in the staircase. So I'm getting ready to share with you guys what I picked up. So um, I went by Goodwill before I dropped my baby. So I found, I think it's called a Ring of Love. So I found this and it was $2.29. So I decided just to go ahead and pick that up. So um, I got that and my baby was with me when I went in there. So she found, you know, she's, if you don't know, my daughter is in culinary school. So she wanted these pans and they are thermal. They also have the feet on them. So look at that. They have the feet on them. They are thermal. How you know they thermal because of the dots and the thickness of it. So um, it was two of them. So they were $4.04. .04. So um, they just need to be sanitized. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the dishwasher and they're, they're made by Remy, Rima, R-E-M-A. So um, she got those two. So that's the only things that I did pick up from the will. Um, then I went by Target. And if you saw some of the video, you already know I went to Target. So I'm sorry about the noise. So I pick up these because there were two of them for $5. I do already have some of these and I got them just sitting in my office. And then as I was getting ready to walk off, I looked back and saw the big one. So that one is pretty big and it was $5. Um, so it is pretty big. You can see my hand. So um, it's pretty big and it has the same lid. And I, I haven't seen nothing but in the regular Target area, the tall ones like this. So this one was $5 also. So I went ahead on and pick up that. And in the Target spot, I don't know why people call it the Target dollar spot. Target spot. Um, they did have the spice jar and lids for five dollars and you get six of them and they have the labels on here also um i'm not going to use these labels i'm not going to do it right now we will do um that in another video um i might pick up another one i might pick up another one i don't know um so that is all i picked up from tar j so I went into Ross and didn't see anything, but my, I have one, which is my daughter, loves chopsticks. So I pick up these chopsticks. There was $2.50. So I did pick these up. There are wooden chopsticks in this five pair and it's made by Cement Hill. So I did pick that up. And y'all, I love this water. So um, I buy so much of it and it was for $1.49. I never had this flavor before. This one is dark mellow cherry and pomegranate. So I've never had this flavor. So I was like, let me go ahead and just pick up one of them. So I just pick up one of those. So that is all that I did pick up. Um, I might bring you along guys with me cooking something for dinner <sighs> i feel worn out um i'm thinking for these i am gonna add i know they can just pop straight up i'm gonna add i'm gonna look on amazon for some wooden look at my hair um some wooden handles and add wooden handles to it hopefully it'll be like in the same color so um now i pretty much have a good many of them now 
So I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and just box these up and wrap them, or I'm gonna put them on the counter. I think I'm gonna wrap them. I think I'm gonna wrap them and go ahead and put them up and put them in a storage bin. Um, just make sure I bubble wrap them all real good. So guys, that is all that I picked up from the stores I went to. Um, when I go pick up Amber, um, what I was looking for, guys, let me show you what I was looking for. So that blue runner plant right there, I don't know if you can see real good or not. That's what I was looking for. I know them, but they were all gone. So, yeah.